Hello and welcome to this week's episode. My name is Guy and we are starting our journey on the practical guide to becoming a great GM. Now, for the next year on this YouTube channel, this is what we're going to be doing. Every week, we'll be examining a chapter or a sub-chapter from the book, The Practical Guide to Becoming a Great GM, which is in production in 2022 and will be available for purchase in the fourth quarter uh, and then moving forward from there. Now, why are we doing this? Why are we taking the book that I wrote and translating it into a video series? Well, basically, we realize that there isn't a comprehensive one-year course, call it a GM 101, if you will. And that's what we're going to be doing for the next year. So each chapter is broken into sub-chapters, and we'll be working through each of those sub-chapters, chapter by chapter by chapter, until by the end of the year we have the complete course. And it really is a foundation level in changing your mind or preparing your mind on how to take on the task of being a GM, a DM, a narrator, a storyteller, a director, whatever your role-playing system calls it, this video is all about laying the foundation so that you can then be free to go off and run these games with impunity, with no fear, with no nervous terror that you don't know what you're doing or that you're doing it wrong. And, and we're going to change your approach to how you do this as well. So that's the goal of these video series, and I hope that you'll jo join me on this journey. You'll journey with me on this join. You'll join me on this journey as we unpack the approach that I, as a GM, have used for decades. And this approach, I find, is super simple, super easy, and it changes a fundamental view that we have had of GMs and DMs, and that view is that they are separate from the players at the table. Now, it's true, the GM, the DM, is the most important element of the people at the table, because without them, there is no game. The people can get together, the players can get together and kind of role play, but if it comes to a rules decision, theoretically, that falls to the DM. So if the DM isn't there, well, then there's no game. But that's really the only power that the DM has insofar as being different from the rest of the players. So what you're going to hear me talk about in this video series is the DM or the GM is a player. Everybody at the table is a player. The difference is that the GM is role-playing and using the rules of the system in a slightly different way. They're role-playing multiple characters. They're not role-playing a single character, whereas the other players are role-playing single characters. But that is the difference. That is the only difference. That is the single difference that there is. The rest is absolute equality. And it is a simple way of looking at it. And you might go, well, this isn't revolutionary. It will become more revolutionary as you realize that the GM, well, the GM has now suddenly lost a whole bunch of burdens. The GM is now just a player, which means the GM should be doing as much work as their fellow players, uh, rather than sitting up at late at night prepping thousands of things and coming up with diabolical plans and all kinds of wonderful and amazing things. That burden is now gone, and you're going to see how we're going to do that later on. Now, each video is sponsored. That's how we keep the lights running, and this week's sponsorship is, well, us. We produce not only these video series, but we also produce a series of books, and The Practical Guide to Becoming a Great GM is just the latest book in our collection. We have other books, The Complete Guide to Creating Epic Campaigns, The Complete Guide to Nautical Campaigns. We have our own role-playing system called Bounty Hunter, and all of these books are available from our website. That's www.greatgamemaster.com. So if you are looking for a PDF or if you're looking for a hard copy book, head on over there, and you will be able to find them for purchase. We also have a Patreon where every month our patrons get GM notes and tricks and inside tips, as well as a weekly podcast which uh, covers GM topics. So head on over and have a look out for that as well. With that out of the way, let's jump straight into the core concept of these videos. 
and the first core concept is that there are three aspects to you as the game master. And we want to develop all of those aspects. Each aspect in its own right needs to be as developed as possible so that they provide a harmonious triangle of support. The fundamental principle when we come to look at the aspects is that no aspect of GMing should be a burden. We don't want any one of those aspects to be something that we don't like doing or laborious or to slow us down because it will slow down the other two aspects. So we need to have all three aspects working at their peak efficiency so that we can work at our peak efficiency. Again, it's about reducing the amount of effort and by effort, I mean stress and strain we have to put into running our games as a GM. We want to take that away and say, no, no, I'm going to sit down and I'm going to have fun. And it hasn't been a, uh, a pain or a, a, a horror or a misery to get here. So that's what we're going to be doing. So the first aspect is you. You yourself, we need to empower you, to develop you, to advance you, to drive you to becoming a stronger you, a more versatile, a more imaginative, a more creative, a more self-assured, a more confident GM. And that's what the first few chapters are going to be focusing on, is on your self-development, your self-betterment. And perhaps you already have these in spades. You kind of go, well, I don't really need that. Sure, absolutely. You don't necessarily need that if you already have it. But what you need is you need to then learn, learn, learn. You need to learn, which is um, a different type of learning. Um, it actually is a different type of learning if you think about it. There is learning where you're just committing stuff to memory and then you're, you're going to vomit it out later on. That's not what we are about at this uh, channel at all. That's not what the series is about. We want you to learn, which is to absorb and to nourish and to eat and consume and become one with and to, to really just absorb and understand the concepts and the principles and to then have them as part of yourself. So you're not having to recall and think back and, and all that kind of stuff. We want you to learn it. Uh, so there we go. That's the word for the day. So in learning about you and yourself, it becomes second nature. It becomes something you don't have to worry about. Or you might find there's certain aspects that you need to tweak on yourself that will empower yourself even further. So we look at things like imagination development, we look at things about building up your confidence, we look at how to make rules calls, all those kinds of things we're going to be looking at in that particular aspect. The second aspect is your world space. Your world space is basically the world in which you and your fellow players will be playing in. Now, your world space can be built in such a way that it is a tremendous burden upon you and that you never know what's going on and you forget stuff and you don't know stuff and you panic and have anxiety attacks about stuff. Or your world space could be an amazing place that encourages, supports and does its own thing and all you have to do is interpret it or reveal it to the players. That, to me, is a world space that I want to be in, not one where I have to panic about do I know what is around the corner, etc., uh, etc. Et so we look at how do you take either an existing world or create your own world and translate that into something that is going to support you and enhance your experience as the game master rather than to kind of burden you with now you have to do all of this other stuff as well. Once we've got our world in a position that is going to be supporting us, we've got ourselves in a position where we are now free of certain burdens, we get to the last aspect, and that is the aspect of your actual game. So it's how is the game going to run? What adventures do you need to worry about? And here's a hint, you don't have to worry about adventures anymore. We're going to be looking at a new way of doing adventures. How do you design encounters? How do you handle NPCs? And again, don't worry about it. These are all going to handle themselves. You really are just going to be a player in this game now. Remember I said we're shifting the GM from being this entity to now just being a player. So we're going to look at all of that stuff in your game. What goes into it? How do you prep for a game? What do you prep for a game? How do you make battle maps? How do you design things? All that kind of stuff, stuff goes into the third aspect. So when you then put all three aspects together, you should end this year by going, I as an entity, I am in a good, strong, creative space. My game is set in a world that provides support and encouragement 
encouragement and inspiration for me. And the actual game itself is such a pleasure to sit down and just play in that I can't wait to play my next game and I don't have any of the stresses that I used to have. It sounds amazing. It really, really isn't. We've just got to follow a series of steps that we're going to be following in this video series until we get to the end and you realize, huh, I don't even know what I was worried about in the first place. And of course, uh, I want to just say right here and now that when I look at games that I run, I have players who go, that was, I don't know how you planned that. The trick is, I didn't plan it. It happened. But it happens every single time I run a game. And you kind of go, well, is it just luck? No, it's not. It's by following all of these steps that I have now outlined. And it's about making sure that I am a player in the game. I'm not some other entity that has superpowers. I'm just playing the game and I'm having fun whilst doing so. And that is the journey that we're going to be on together. So, I need you to show me that this is something that you want, that you think is going to be of value to you by either hitting that like button or preferably hit that subscribe button. You know, we're a fairly big channel in terms of role playing. I, I'm very proud to say that we have got to where we are now with your amazing support. If you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button and let's grow it even more. All I have to say is thank you. To my patrons who um, support this channel, their names are rolling up, a big thank you to them, a massive thank you to you for watching all the way through to the end of this introductory video, and until next time, I wish you and yours the very happiest of gaming.